We continue to keep a close eye to Hurricane Francine as it approaches the Louisiana coast. You can see there are tropical storm warnings up for New Orleans, much of southern Louisiana along the coast. Hurricane warnings in place and we do anticipate a hurricane at landfall late Wednesday afternoon and into Wednesday evening. The watches extend north of that. You can see across parts of Mississippi, but even the southern tier of Mississippi back through Mobile, Alabama. Uh, that Mobile Bay there under tropical storm warning. So serious situation there with this hurricane right now. Maximum winds are at 90 miles per hour with gusts to 115 folks along the Louisiana coast bracing for this impact later today. And you can see the Hurricane Center now believes this is going to intensify a little bit before making landfall later today. So we should see this become a category two hurricane uh, at some point, maybe later this morning, but certainly into the afternoon decent chance with 100 mile per hour sustained winds. Now as it moves in, it is going to weaken quickly over land as these things do, but it's still going to bring a tremendous amount of rain. We're talking storm surge potential 5 to 10 feet inundation, some areas right along that uh, coastal section of Louisiana. And a lot of this is wildlife refuge, but there are communities along these areas that we'll be watching for as well. And then again, with New Orleans, keep in mind they've had a tremendous amount of rain already over the last week or so due to a stalled front. Talking six to nine inches of rain in the last seven days for some parts of this region. So additional rainfall on top of that, even a handful of inches here with rain could create some flooding issues. Certainly if you get these higher totals in that uh, say nine to 10 or even 12 inch range, that would trigger uh, significant flooding. So state of emergencies issued for southern Louisiana and uh, well, the state of Louisiana and also Mississippi. So just want to let you know about that. A lot of rain associated with this system as it comes in. A lot of wind as well. Again, strongest as it makes its approach this afternoon. And then as it comes inland, it will weaken. But we're still talking about winds that are going to be quite possible, uh, quite strong across the entire region. Possible hurricane force winds extending uh, late afternoon and into the evening along the coast here and up. You'll notice it does weaken as we go later into the week, into the evening. But there will be the possibility of isolated tornadoes with that landfalling system as well. Now, in addition to that, there are other areas we are watching. We continue to monitor several areas across the Atlantic. This one now has a 90% chance of development over the coming seven days. This is Invest 93L. We also have Invest 92. We've been keeping an eye to this one, only a 30% chance. A new area that the Hurricane Center is monitoring as well, a 10% chance of development. And this is one that could become most interesting for the southeast coast, specifically the Carolinas. It's a 20% chance of development, so it's not uh, one of those things where it's definitely an eminent development and thing. But it is something we're going to watch carefully because of the proximity to the southeast coast. And I will say the U.S. model, the global forecast system, you might hear us talk about the GFS model that does bring develop a low pressure area and bring it into the Carolinas early next week on Tuesday. So potentially a significant rainmaker with some wind along the Carolinas into early next week. If that model's correct, I will say the European model was not doing it. Uh, some of the other models not as bullish on development. That's why there's only a 20% chance. But with that being so close to the southeast coast into early next week, you can bet we'll be watching it closely for you here at 13 News Now. So while we have Francine making the run towards Louisiana later today, there's a lot of other activity that we will be monitoring in the coming week across the Atlantic Basin. Be sure and check back with 13 News Now for more updates.